Hi everyone, I'm back with another Design Ambassador Kit unboxing from Jesse James Beads. I have been a Design Ambassador for Jesse James Beads a few months now, and every month they send me a kit with beads that they have currently available on their online store. And also, you know, sometimes I get new launches and I create some pieces of jewelry for you guys so you can kind of see how to use them or maybe give you a little bit of inspiration just for a little bit of history in case you don't know about jesse james beads jesse james beads is a small family-owned business and they have all these beautiful strands and bead mixes they also offer tools i mean everything you need to design beautiful beautiful jewelry they really take the guesswork out of you know out of picking the beads that are right you know that coordinate with one with each other they do all of that beautifully you can shop online they also have every week they have um, deals so like every sunday i believe they change so you can get a coupon code and you know like i said and use that depending on what you want to shop for sometimes it could be a free bead strand or it could be you know a certain color that's on sale things like that so you, you definitely want to check out their weekly uh, discounts all the links to the products that I'll be showing are in the description box below if you do decide to click on that link I will get a small commission I also want to say thank you so much for supporting my little channel here we're consistently growing I'm so happy even though right now I'm kind of using my phone to film but we'll be back I mean, I'll be back to being able to film the way I'm used to next week. A little bit more about Jesse James Beads. They do these camps, which is how I got to know them. So they have like a winter camp or they'll have a summer camp. And ever since, you know, like we were locked down and couldn't go anywhere, they decided to go and do these courses or these classes online. And it has worked out amazingly well because it doesn't you don't have to you, you can be in any part of the world and take part in these courses right now what they have coming up is the beads and blooms jewelry making festival 2022 and this festival they'll be doing 10 jewelry making workshops and the festival runs from wednesday may 4th to saturday may 7th it includes the kit so everything you need to make these 10 designs and i'll also link it down below if you want to purchase the kit if you purchase the kit then you'll get into a special facebook group well there where they'll be featuring these uh, courses or classes. So if you're new to beading, I absolutely 100% recommend them. So if you want to get into, you know, different techniques and how to bead. So anyway, let's get into this and see what's in this design ambassador for March. All right, so it looks like we've got all these goodies here and I get a little really cute card. It tells me what's in here and it tells me that this uh, kit was packed with love by Emily. So thank you, Emily, for packing my kit. So this is what we're going to be looking at. And so far, I'm already loving everything. So I'm going to set these to the side so we can open each up. So it looks like we have these really cute cha-cha you know i made a pair of earrings with these cha-cha um no they're not called yeah floral cha-cha tassels these this one is vegetable garden and these are so pretty for the spring but it's so funny because my daughter is uh she's in her early 20s and i thought maybe she might not like them you know they like different style jewelry but i made a pair of earrings with these and she she asked me for them so i gave them to her so it it you know any for any age any style these are really really cute and then we have and then it looks like we have this beautiful pendant and it's a abstract leaf mixed media mixed media pendant and i think i already mentioned this but all these products will be linked in the description box below so you can check them out if you want to order any of them and so yeah this is really cute leaf pendant then we have uh jesse james bead strands their strands are fabulous trust me when i say i have so many of them it's not even funny i think i'm collecting them at this point so we have this gorgeous design and this one is called 
usually the name is on here but it is not on this one let me see if i have it over here uh okay so this bead strand is in sweet peach so you could see how beautiful they're you know you've got these beautiful boho beads with a b stones in them and then you've got these crystals these uh i don't know what are they called what's the shape here you guys tell me description box below <laughs> i'm filming this late so i don't i i can't think right now <laughs> and then i have these you know and then they have these beautiful boho like i said boho beads it looks like we've got some pearls and a frosted you know frosted bead so uh, and then we've got these gorgeous rhinestone beads as well we've got some cage beads and some really gorgeous rondelles that go with it and it looks like these are some drops at the end so you know like i was saying it takes the guesswork out of it takes the work out of trying to figure out what bead goes with what and you know you can easily put this in on a transfer it over to some beading wire and then add a chain and you've got just a beautiful necklace already set up for you then i was looking forward to seeing this one so they just launched these beautiful strands and um i'll link like i said this below but you definitely have to check out the other ones there's seven new strands and the these strands the golem beads just so you know it's a little bit of history they are ceramic beads and i think they started making these since 2000 according to their website also these are ceramic handmade beads so very very cure very very cool they've got a studio here in the u.s as well but it looks like they started in bulgaria which is really cool and they have beads pendants cabochons so all sorts of gorgeous if you go on i was just looking uh, a little bit to looking around to see for inspiration but if you go onto pinterest you can see a ton of designs if you just type in golem beads you'll find a ton of designs using their beads then and just beautiful you know like boho designs wire wrap designs there's very cool and then also jen on uh the jesse james facebook page also did a design using golem beads with wire on them so i totally recommend going to check out her video as well so these strands i think i might have to grab them all because they're absolutely stunning so that's the golem strand and then we've got dress it up buttons now dress it up buttons is jesse james beads sister brand let me open these up quick so jesse james beads has the sister brand called dress it up buttons and these buttons are absolutely so adorable they have disney buttons they have all sorts of themes you definitely have to go check out their website again that is linked in the description box below as well and the products are made as it says here made in the u.s but their strands i mean their buttons are not just for you know for sewing you can use these because they have this flat back you can glue them on to anything and they make just some gorgeous designs i've seen uh some of our other ambassadors use them on jewelry like they will glue them on well not this but let's say they'll glue it on this piece here you know just because the the back like i said is flat so they are really easy to glue on to different things you can also use them for like card making if you if you just cut off the the little you know like this little what do you call that loop i forget i know there's a name for it why am i why am i drawing a blank anyway this little loop here on the back you can cut it off and then glue it to anything like i can see an easter card with these gorgeous bunnies or you can make a headband for uh little girls you know for easter that would be so pretty look at these little butterflies absolutely gorgeous and then we they have like i said different seasonal collections so right now they have also saint patrick's day uh, buttons going on i mean available on their site oh shank now i remember <laughs> the button shank oh my gosh i knew i remembered it but also oh you know what if you like to scrapbook if you like the scrapbook again you take off the shank and you glue it on with your scrapbooking pictures these buttons are absolutely adorable and like i said i can't wait to make something with them 
during Christmas, they had like little lights, you know, like the Christmas lights. They were absolutely adorable. We have this really pretty mini mix here. I'm gonna... Okay, so here is the mini mix. And let me just dump this out here, show you guys. Now this is, this mini mix is from the Color Envy collection. Color Envy collection, you'll see it on their website as well, was actually made to uh, coordinate with the artistic wire from Beetalon. They have, they launched, I wanna say about a couple years ago, or year and a half, they launched these multicolored artistic wire. This one is a 22 gauge, and they launched it in different, different tones like that, like three colors, but they're all like blended together. You've got your green, brown, and gold. So these actually, Jesse James beads worked with them, and they designed their bead mixes which are called the Color Envy to coordinate with this artistic wire. And if you pull up Color Envy in the description, you know, in their search bar, you'll get the artistic wire along with the bead. So you can see what wire goes with the bead. So that's really cool. And I did not know that until recently when I was checking these out online. So you've got your really adorable boho beads here in green and gold. And then we've got a couple of cute little uh, triangle tassels. And it looks like we've got some Pima tubes. At least that's what they feel like. Uh, little Pima tubes. And then we have these gorgeous, oh, what are these? Are they hearts? Looks like it, yeah. Their hearts, but they've got that little, let me show you, let me put it up, down like that. You know, I've got that little peak going this way, the bottom of the heart. So we've got two adorable hearts and some really pretty pink. They look like they, okay, so they're round, but they're flat on side. You know, the sides are flat, some of the sides. So these beautiful crystal pink beads. And we've got some more of these gorgeous green cubes look like little jello cubes <laughs> and let's see what else do we have in here we've got some copper spacers and uh oh, we've got some more of this and then we've got some uh, antique gold or bronze spacers with flowers on them and we got the little flowers and, uh, oh, look at that. That looks like a antique bronze, probably, butterflies. So that is, we have one of those. So that is a charm in there. And then we've got the just different, I'm gonna put this up like this so that I don't have to separate them all, but we've got small little fire polish beads these little green tubes that make perfect to put in between, you know, the beads to accent them. And then we've got these, yeah, these are the brown fire polish. We've got these gorgeous bead caps here with the leaves and these little round itty bitty drucks, little teeny tiny drucks in there. So yeah, we've got some really cute small little beads that go with the mix. So like I said, this, as you can see, this bead mix goes perfectly with this brown, gold, and green wire, which now that I know and that I know that I have it, I'm going to use it in our little tutorial here in a minute to use these together. So this is what I have for this month's ambassador kit. Also, if I don't, I, you know, I don't get a chance to make it all on this video, but look on my um, Instagram, all my social media links are down below as well look on my Instagram. If you go to my Instagram page, you'll see the other items I make with, you know, all the other, you can make a ton of stuff with these beads. So you'll be able to see other designs using these beads in my Instagram as well. So make sure to go and follow me there. So let is, I'm going to quit talking and go grab my tools and I'll be right back to see what we can make. So I'm back with a simple but cute little bracelet. And I kind of, I zoomed in a little bit more and brought out my mat so that my beads don't go rolling all over the place. So first to start off with, I'm gonna let you know what we need. 
So you're going to need the this if you have it. Otherwise, just any 22 gauge wire will work. But if you want to have, well, I'll explain right now why you want this type of, kind of wire. And I will link this wire if you want to purchase it on Jesse on the Jesse James Beats uh, website. I will link it down below. So this is 22 gauge wire of the brown green gold artistic wire from Beetleon. That was a mouthful. And also, I'm going to be using 20 gauge wire, and this is German style wire. Now, German style wire is, it's a half hard wire, meaning that it's a little bit stiffer so that it maintains its shape really well for ear wires and, and you know, like uh, if you want to make uh, closures, things like that, this uh, German style wire works really well. And I'm going to be using the Color Envy, this little mini mix, obviously, to go with the artistic wire. And then using our, our tools, which is the my little uh, thin needle nose, flat nose pliers, my bent nose pliers, uh, my round nose pliers, these right here, and my side cutters. So what we want to do, oh, and you're going to need a ruler or some sort of tape measure as well. So what we're going to do here is I already started, but let's make one of these beads. I wanted to put four of these beads, which is why I wanted this wire. So we're going to make our own little wire beads. So what I did was I just worked off the roll and... I'm going to take this, you know, my round nose pliers and bend like that and then come back up like that, take the pliers out of the way and, you know, this wire is so soft, so soft that you just need to, you can do it with your hands super easy. And just start wrapping. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just have to start wrapping, that's it. Any which way, kind of like what they call, what we call a messy wrap. See, I've started my little loop here. Like that, you can even grab it with your, with your uh, bent nose pliers. And I'm gonna cut off this little end here. To the side. And then, and then squish this down, just like that. Squish this end down. Kind of straighten my little loop. Now, what we're going to, what I did was I measured from the center here to the other, to where I wanted to start my next loop, and it is one centimeter. So I'm just going to put my little loop there, see? And then here, I know that that's where I want to start my other loop. Because this is so soft, you literally can just bend it like that. And now you can bring in your round nose pliers, bring it around. I did that backwards, don't do that. And, and then all I do, oh, before we do that, I do need to cut a long piece because we need to put this on our little we need to add it to this closed loop so we don't have to use any jump rings. So I'm just gonna cut about that much. I wanna say that's, how long is this? It should be enough to make a nice fat bead. So, whoop. That is, if we can get this on right. It's about six inches. So I'm cutting about six inches right there and then I'll add this closed loop over here that way I have have it already on and now I'm going to come in with my bent nose pliers like that and now I can start all you have to do is just start wrapping you wanted a little bit I want to say chubbier thicker in the center so that's kind of where I'm going to focus to start off with. If you don't have enough wire, you could always cut more, keep rolling. So 
so but I think that's a nice size thick bead and I ended I ended up on this side so see how we, we made just just like these we made a little bead so as you can see they end up with a being a really nice really cute accent and I'm just going to add this bead now that I did the I wanted to wait to add the rest of the beads to show you how I made my little wire bead and it matches everything just perfectly okay so now that we have so now the bracelet is done and let's see if we've got usually about bracelet normal size about seven seven and a half inches it can be larger depending but you can always add an extender chain so see we've got exactly seven and that should make a nice because you have to count the uh, the clasp so for me this would be perfect see so once we put the clasp on and I can teach you how to make a clasp so to do that we're gonna cut about let's see about four inches I always like to be a little overkill you're gonna go right in the center like that make sure well I'm not measuring so I'm eyeballing it that's what I think it looks like the center I think maybe a little bit more over here there we go that and then we're just going to bend it see if you want it to be see I got, almost got the center nice if you want it to be a little bit smaller the the trick another a tip that I use is I put it between here see how it's flat in there and then gently just squeeze it in between there and that makes it see makes it a little bit smaller so and this is where our st six step six step loop looper comes into play uh, we're going to I'm going to use I think it's this side that I end up using I always forget I don't know why but we can always straighten it back out yeah that's good so it is number one, two, three, the th size three. And then take the this little, the smallest size and grab it from the end. Let me open this up a little bit. You can also do that before you fully bend it. Grab it from the tip and then bend it back a little bit. See how we have that little curve so that the, the loop can go in there or your jump ring whatever you're gonna use to hook so now for here what we're going to do is take one side and this is where these bent nose pliers come in handy as well one we're gonna hold it on like we're gonna hold it just like that Let me just make sure I'm centered and this one is going to bend down and then we're going to bring it around like like if you were making a wrap loop just like that see now you just want to make sure that it's nice and straight nice and flat that your that your clasp is nice and flat like that then I'm gonna cut this off. That way you can make everything, including your own clasps. You don't need, if you're in a pinch and you don't have any, this is a great way to make your own. And then we're just going to grab that, bring it sideways. No, this is not gonna be a closed loop, sorry. Bring it, bend the whole thing, and then leave about, I think it's about a centimeter, a little bit less. Where's my, like that. And then grab your round nose pliers to where you can't see them. Oop. A little bit better than me. 
right there see and then just bring your little your loop right closed now we've got our little loop and now what we can do is take and oh, oh. take it and open it like if you were opening a jump ring sideways or front to back like that put it on your bracelet and close it and now we have a clasp that you can use for this side what we're going to do is make a jump ring let's do let's cut this off like that and I'm just gonna make one. Put this side to where it's even. Oops, we want it to be straight nut. Just to straighten out the side. And now you can open it. Or you can, you know, you, you don't have to make your jump. If you have already made jump rings, you can use those. But, you know, if you, in a pinch, now you can uh, close your clasp like that. But if you wanted to, what you can do is add an extender chain and then just put maybe one of these little drops on the end. Kind of give it a really cute look.